Hello everyone, I'm here again with another awesome ther Houston therapist and uh, this is Michael Duvall. Michael Duvall has been my supervising uh, LPC or LPC supervisor for the last three years. Until now, I'm currently a licensed professional counselor and so Michael, I'm going to allow you to kind of introduce yourself and tell us a little okay. bit about your practice and the, what, what you like to do. Okay, so uh, I've been an LPC in Houston for a long time, 17, 17 years. Oh my God, I've been doing this a long time. Uh, and I like seeing, um, I see boys 13 to 30 in the LGBT community. I really like working with uh, men in their 20s uh, who often seem to feel disconnected somehow, either from the people around them or from like kind of not knowing where they're headed in their lives. So Perfect. And what kind of approach do you like to take to counseling? I most often take a solution-focused approach, so it's less concerned about like what brought you to this point, but more focused on how do you want things to be different and how can I help you figure out how to make things different in your life. So I talk a lot about um, uh, self-efficacy, like knowing that you can have an effect on your own life. Uh, and um, I think a lot about connection, how connected we feel or don't feel. Yeah. This might be a good time to kind of promote one of the things that we do do together, okay. which is This Side of the Rainbow. Um, you can check it out at thissideofthe-rainbow.com. Um, and no, 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 .org. Dot .org. Thank you. <laughs> thissideofthe-rainbow.org. And uh, we've been working on this project with two other clinicians, a Amy Greedy and uh, Jeannie Lowe. Lo. Sorry, <laughs> Jeannie. Jeannie Lowe. Jeannie yes. Lowe. And uh, we have, this is our fourth year in providing that camp, and we're excited to be in our fourth year. We just mm -hmm. got done with a long organizational meeting this morning, which uh, went really well, and we're super excited for the camp this year. So that will be July 22nd through the 27th. Mm -hmm. And if you have any other questions about it or are looking to register for that camp, you can go to thissideofthe-rainbow.org. .org. Um, or we have a Facebook page, too. Or, or you could look. Facebook, This Side of the Rainbow, and you'll find that. Yeah. You know what? I should probably put that in oh, part yeah, of the comments put below. The comments, yeah. yeah. Uh, the other thing that I always like to ask uh, the therapists are, what are your either mindfulness activity or what is your self-help activity that you enjoy doing self the most? Oh, so self-care? Self self-care. Self-care. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Because uh, I don't, I don't do mindfulness. Uh, I'm never mindful. Uh, no, uh, but I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I've got too much going up here to like slow it down. It seems like, which is, I need to work on that, right? I sure. guess. Uh, but uh, as far as self care, uh, there's not just one thing, and I've, I've been thinking a lot about this uh, today, particularly. Um, I is that self care is not a thing you do; it's a lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and part of how I, I work that into my lifestyle is exercising regularly, um, uh, sometimes more regularly than others, and I can tell when I'm not doing it regularly enough. Um, but even if it's just a walk out in my neighborhood, um, and then going to movies. Yeah. Movies are a time for me to kind of like yeah. check out your the arms, arms giving yeah, out. Okay. Giving out. Uh, movies are a time for me to kind of like disconnect from everything that's going on in the world around me and just go off into this other place for a little bit and yeah. and m most often like fun exciting places um sometimes not because i like all kinds of movies but um so that's my big self-care i i i like that you said how it can be kind of simple mm -hmm. as well because uh, on the way that i was on coming to our meeting today I was like what can I do just that's really quick so I stopped by the Starbucks really quick I was just like I need something to just give me a, a boost right and be something that was just there and that even thinking of something that simple oh, yeah can uh, definitely change your mind in, in that moment too. yeah often what I ask my clients as they're leaving is what are you gonna do right now mm -hmm. as you leave here what can you do that's gonna help you move a little bit towards your goal or like calm down all the stuff that's going on in your head just a little bit yeah yeah so that's a really good thought appreciate that okay all right michael well it was great to visit with you today you too and... i'm so excited that he's finally a fully <laughs> licensed therapist i'm very excited for him great things are going to come from him thank you so much <laughs> i really appreciate that okay all right 
And uh, once again, if you do have any questions for Michael, um, I'm going to put his contact information down below. Um, but I'm also, you know, you can like, comment, subscribe, just check it out. Okay. Uh, you all have a great day and uh, take care. Bye. <laughs>